Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Today I am continuing um, with my videos using Label Me Bold, uh, one of my favourite stamp sets, one of the cheapest stamp sets in the catalogue. It's £16, gives you um, a lovely choice of sentiments and some background stamping. Um, so you can make some great cards with it and I did a video on just simple stamping um, one piece of cardstock, one ink pad and um, one stamp set to make this simple lovely card and then I did another video where I stepped it up a bit adding a few um, other things, added a bit of ribbon added a, uh, another colour of cardstock so we're going to double layer so we've got some extra thick uh, whisper white there um, we've got uh, a matte in knight of navy to to go on there and then we've got a, a matte of whisper white to go on that so we've got like the double pop there which is a look that i um, go for a lot really like that now you can gut this so if you're starting out and you haven't got much stock um, then you can gut this or if you're just like me I like to gut anyway because I just think that's a waste because it's not going to get seen um, so um, that is uh, an option um, I'm gonna do um, a bit of um, sort of easy embossing um, on this as well to give it a little bit of, of something else um, so we're going to um, do, do the stamping like we have on all the other cards so if you've caught the other two videos you might want to fast forward through this bit um, so uh, I sort of created um, a, uh, a stamping area with um, simple washi tape so I just masked it so a bit of washi tape I am just putting it on my jumper there a bit sticking that down you don't want it to be too sticky because you don't want it to pull the card off got that extra bit on there do you know something always happens and they say don't work with animals or children I'm going to add washi tape to that there we go just Pull that off, and then get some more off. Do my little stripe up there, using the lines on my grid pat mat to make sure I've got a straight line. Put that on the end there, so I can find the end again. So, we'll stick with the same background stamp. And we'll just stamp along. So I stamped off first so that I didn't have full strength. I didn't stamp off that one. Uh -uh. So I did less stamping on the second one. I'm going back to more stamping on this one. be enough and then we want the stars 
and they're going to be full strength going all over. I hope you like this showing you different ways to use one stamp set. I, I've got others in the pipeline because I just want to show how to how to stamp and that um, you don't have to be a massive expert. I'm going to turn this into a thank you card um, and you can um, no I'll do a happy birthday actually nice male birthday card um, and that you know you can learn a few tricks and soon become You know, to, you know, producing brilliant cards. So there we go. I'm going to cut that out in the same way as I did for the other card. Right, let's get these washes off. So I'm going to pull it off gently because we've taken some of the tackiness off. It's not going to rip. A nice little stripe there and we're going to cut this out with my long scissors giving a little bit of a white border so it was one of the reasons why I liked this set was the way that the sentiments were because I thought oh that means you don't need punches you can just use the scissors and cut it cut sliver more off like so and then that's going to get glued on to a bit of Knight of Navy to give it a nice border. So I try and line it up so that the bottom edge doesn't need cutting. Love Night Navy. Just love it. There we go. So that's a nice little sentiment there. Popping really nicely there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some embossing and I'll just sort of show you a simple way of embossing. Now, if you haven't got a, a scoreboard, you can do this on a scoreboard, but if you haven't got a scoreboard, um, then um, you might have a trimmer that has a scoreboard and this has got a, a scoring section and all I'm going to do is score a couple of lines either side of the stripe so I've done one and I'm going to move 
um, like an eighth of an inch. And I'm just going to do like three and then do the same on this side. And move it along an eighth of an inch. Of course, if you've got small balls, you just go straight down at the eighths of an inch's marks. And that gives us a sort of a nice border there. Hope you can see that. Just giving it a little something different. You could do some more stripes, but I think that's enough and then if we bring the card in that can go on there and then we've got our happy birthday which you could go down up in the middle wherever you want I think I'm going down with that one and, um, and that's just another way of, of, of changing the card by adding um, that. You've got die cut, you could add that. I'm not going to put a ribbon on this one like I did before. I'm just going to gut, show you how I gut first actually. So I go over half an inch go down half an inch here and go down to about half an inch from the end there do the same on this side put it at half an inch there go down to about half an inch from there then I put that end at half an inch and you just join the two lines up. You just might need to do a little bit of snipping at the corners. Or if you get your head right over it, you should be all right. So then you've got a little bit there for using for other mats die cutting whatever just a bit frugal so what I do when I've done this is I I glue this one down first um, and because it's cut at a quarter of an inch thinner and shorter you've got like a eighth of an inch border all the way around and you can kind of see that and now another way of making this um, a little bit um, more special is you can stand this bit up on dimensionals but I'm going to stand this up on dimensionals and if you do double dimensional you can't put it through standard standard post you have to go large letter so saving a bit of money and again this is a quarter of an inch shorter and thinner so we've got that same border all the way around so the matting's all nice and even and then we'll just get some dimensionals to pop this up. And I might use those same little blue gems that I've got. I am 
going to stick down the bottom here. Like so. Not quite straight. That's a bit better. Um, I might leave it. I was thinking I'd put some of these dots on it, but I think I might leave it. Although now I see them on there, I actually quite like it. So I think I will put these blue dots on. Now you can put dots on in different ways. What have I just done with my pokey tool? So you could do it random like this. Sometimes it's nice to put a few dots in the corners. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to put it around around where the happy birthday is. Again, using the sort of power of three there. And that is my third version. So they've all single layer, double layer, triple layer and uh, one stamp set. Hope you like that. Tell me what you think of uh, me doing this and if there's a stamp set that you would like me to use um, uh, if I've got it I'll, um, I'll, I'll do it. Okay so um, yeah all the details will be on my blog nudges.co.uk you'll be able to find the other two cards if you've not already seen them please like and subscribe you can go and find some more of my videos and if you want to buy anything shop links down below and there's um, be links to all the products in, in the blog post. Okay, thank you for joining me. Bye bye.